Okay, everybody, I wanted to give a brief demo on understanding masks um, in After Effects. And uh, uh, let me just explain what I have right here right now. I have in my uh, bin right now on the left, I have a AI file that I created previously that is a stroke, um, just a simple stroke going from left to right, nothing that complicated. Okay, first thing I want to do is go to New Composition. And uh, this stroke is about, uh, it's... Uh, 486 by 60 in its dimensions. I'm going to make my canvas in um, After Effects a little bit bigger just to uh, have some room to play with, just to have some, it can, it can uh, move around a little bit in that space. Also down here, you see right now we're set for two minutes. I'm going to change this to uh, go back to about 30 seconds right now. So, and remember that in this area we have this is going to be frames, this next one is seconds, this is going to be uh, minutes, and then hours. Okay, so we're this is going to be 30 seconds. Okay. Alright, so now I have my um, view of my object here, and you can see the object that I'm going to be putting in this is going to be black itself. So I need to first create a little um, slug that's going to be the background here, and uh, so I'm going to grab in a, a rectangle tool and create a fill. And you'll see this is part of the description of the demo, something that um, I want you to pay attention to. Whenever I use the rectangle tool this way, you'll see that it becomes a certain color. It is this blue color, okay? Because this is going to be drawing an actual rectangle, all right? So if we go down here, select that, there becomes our, there, there uh, is our background, all right? So the next thing to do is bring in our stroke, which is going to be what we're going to be animating. All right. So this, if we come right here, place this in the view, you can see now I have the stroke. Okay. And you can see that uh, it goes across most of the screen. I mean, this is fine for what we have right now. And so let's move on. Let's create our first um, mask. Okay, so to create the mask, it's pretty simple. This is probably, uh, if you if you just watch what I'm doing step by step, you probably could grasp this really easily. And watch the video over and over again if you are unsure. Okay, so the first thing to do is select stroke, which is going to be where I want the mask to be. Okay, so this is going to be, I just select the layer where I want it to be, and then I go up to my um, different shapes. Okay, and um, I'm going to select the rectangle tool for now. And then with that, with that selected, and then also with this rectangle tool selected and this layer selected, I then can draw a new rectangle. And you see this one is a different color, okay? This is because this is what's gonna be used for the mask. All right, so that is um, one part of this, okay? Now we have that set, and you can see instantly when I put that down, the drawing disappears. That That is because inside this area is the only area that's going to be seen now because we are, everything is going to be masked outside of this square. All right? Okay, so the next part of this is we have to transform the mask to, uh, to be wider. All right, and this is where our animation comes in. Okay, so I, with the mask selected down here on the bottom, I want to create a keyframe for in mass expansion, okay? So if I select the stopwatch, you see, now I have a keyframe on frame zero, on the, frame, on the first frame in the, in the movie, okay? Now if I go further down the timeline, I wanna go down to about right here, okay? Now I can create a new keyframe, see here, and that creates a new one here. And then in mask expansion, I can, stretch this out and you can see we can see the visualization of what's happening but what is being revealed there is as I widen this out I can uh, this frame will have would be 604 pixels and then this one here is zero so it will uh, uh, tween those together as one animation okay so that's it for this particular exercise this is uh, very simple. I mean, it takes practice to do this kind of thing, and as you get used to it, I think it will become really easy. Okay, that's it.